first area that all successful salespeople are focused on, please write this down, write down the word attitude. How important is it that you maintain a positive attitude if you're going to be extremely successful in your profession? Is it important, team? Please say yes. 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 You bet. But how many of you understand the importance of a positive attitude but have had a bad morning in your life? Show me your hands. Absolutely, we can all have a bad morning in professional sales. You know the kind of morning where you get down to the office, maybe around 8 o'clock, and what happens is the first thing that happens is you trip over a cord, you spill coffee all over your shirt or your blouse. So you got to race back home through all that traffic, and you got to change that shirt or that blouse. So you come back down to the office, you get your things together, and you have an 11 o'clock appointment across town. And you're going to meet these people at 11 o'clock for this, maybe, for example, this, this, this mortgage meeting. Now, you go across town, you drive all the way across town through that construction, through that traffic, you go to these people's place, you go to meet them and they're not there. You are there early, there's no car in the driveway, there's nobody home. Now, you sit and wait for an hour, you're frustrated. These people have no respect for you, they have no respect for your time. You are a frustrated salesperson. You wait for an hour, finally you're frustrated, you jump back in the car, you race back through traffic, through that construction, you go back to the office. As soon as you pull in the parking lot of the office, that couple that you were supposed to meet call you. And they say, well, where the heck are you? And you say, well, I was there early and I waited for an hour. And they say, well, do you want the business or not? So you say, you bet I do. So you race back through that traffic, you go back over to their house, you have a sit down with these people and they are rude to you. They are obnoxious, they are snickering to themselves, they are laughing. These people are rude, these people are frustrated, these people don't even smell nice. <laughs> and you're frustrated, and you just want to reach across the table, grab the husband by the grill here, and just drill him in the grill. You can have a frustrating morning like that in professional sales. But let me ask you all a serious question. If you have a frustrating morning in professional sales, and you come back to the office in the afternoon and you walk around the office and tell all of the other people in the company how bad your morning was. What are you going to do with all of the other people on the team? You're going to drag them where? Down. And it only takes one person in life to drag you down in negativity. Well, and I'm going to tell you right now, Dean, those people are out there right now. They're driving in their cars. They're looking for you. They're trying to find you because they want to tell you about their misery. Those people want to grab you by the collar and drag you into the bad of misery that they live in. And the reason they do is because misery loves, as a matter of fact, misery demands company. See, what those people don't understand is that what comes out of here goes into here. It is called self-talk. The most successful professional salespeople and business people in the world understand the importance of sales talk. I, I do a sales talk. I, I do it every single morning. When I get up in the morning, I say to myself, I like me. I like me. I like me and I'm good at what I do. I like what I do. I'm happy. I am happy. I'm feeling good. I like me. I'm going to get down there today and I'm going to do a presentation that's going to be powerful, enthusiastic, have, have substance. I like me. I'm good at what I do. Because what comes out of here goes into here. It is called self-talk. I can't tell you how many people I meet in my lifetime that are just miserable. I was just in Vegas. I was in Las Vegas. And I went to go to a training program for a real estate company in Las Vegas. Now, I pull up there early. I park my car in front of the real estate office. I get out of my car. I'm driving a very nice car. I'm wearing a nice suit. I have a nice briefcase. I have a very nice watch on. I walk up to this real estate office. They don't know me from Jack. They've never met me before. Two realtors standing outside. Their little name tags on. They're having a conversation. I walk up to them. I said, gentlemen, I said, good morning. I said, how's business? And one of those realtors looked me right in the eye and he said, business? Oh, it's done. It's over. I said, what do you mean? He goes, oh, houses are, there's inventory sitting here. Houses are empty. There's no more land to build on in Vegas. I don't know what we're going to do. Interest rates are going up. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to take a second job. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this kid, and I'm thinking to myself, son, don't you understand that what is coming out of here is going into here? It is called self-talk. The top 20% of salespeople in the United States of America understand the importance of a positive attitude. I, myself, have never ever once, never once in my life have I ever had a bad morning. Not once. Now, I have had plenty of character building morning. <laughs> I've had plenty of them. But I've never had a bad morning because I understand the importance of a positive attitude. 
Perfect example. When I was in Vegas, I was staying in a corporate apartment on the west side of Vegas. This is, this is a typical bad attitude situation. I'm staying in a corporate apartment on the west side of Vegas. I am sitting there on the west side of Vegas, and I'm overlooking Vegas below me. Now I'm facing the east. Now it's about 5.30 in the morning. I'm standing on the patio drinking some juice. I'm watching the sun rise from the east over the desert in Vegas. And as soon as the sun burst across the horizon, it's something that I had never seen before in my life then. It was the most remarkable sunrise I've ever seen. I mean, it was better than Key West, Florida. And I was standing there and I'm looking at this and the rays of light came shooting towards me. All the palm trees and all the cactuses turned a, a jet black silhouette. And as soon as the sun hit all the rocks around me, it changed that desert landscape. It turned it pink and mauve and orange and bright orange and red. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, my gosh, do I love my life. And then I'm sitting there thinking that. And then I leave. About an hour and a half, I'm leaving my corporate apartment. I'm on the outside of the apartment. I'm locking the door. I'm standing outside my apartment, and the guy that lives right next door to me comes out, big guy wearing a suit. I looked at him, and I says, hey, how you doing? He says, fine. I says, you live here? He goes, uh-huh. I said, all year long? He goes, you bet I do. And I said, you, sir, are the luckiest man in the world that I know. And he says, oh, yeah. Why is that? I says, because you left next door to me. You're here all year long. I'm just here on business. And I just saw the remarkable sunrise from your patio and my patio that I've ever seen before in my lifetime. It was like God's own hand had come down and painted me a mural to look at that morning. And I said, and you're the luckiest guy because you get that every single day. And this guy looked at me, no exaggeration, he looked me right in the eye and he said to me, he goes, oh yeah, so what? Oh man. <laughs> he said, so what? He said, so what? You know what I'm doing today? And I said, no, sir, I don't have a clue what you're doing today. And he says, well, I'm driving to Los Angeles. i got to go there for five days. And it's a five-and-a-half-hour drive to Los Angeles. Do you know that? And i got to go there for five days. I don't know why my company's sending me there for five days, because they know i got asthma. Did you know i got asthma, buddy? Well, i got asthma. And I'm not going to be able to breathe or sleep or I'll be coughing in that smog. I don't know why they're sending me. And I looked at him, and I'm thinking to myself, son, I know exactly why they want to get you out of the office. <laughs> See, your attitude determines your altitude. Never have a bad day can you have a character building day. You can have challenges in your life, but you cannot have problems. These are the things that superstars and professional sales understand. How important is attitude? Is it critical, everybody? Please say yes. yes.